JDBC. JDBC is a Transcend trademark, currently Oracle Corporation's trademark. It is often taken to stand Java database connectivity. Java is very standardized, but there are many versions of SQL. JDBC means accessing SQL databases from Java. JDBC standardized API for use by Java programs. Okay, should write database driver to access specific SQL okay. versions. Driver types, there are four types of drivers. JDBC type one driver is JDBC or ODBC bridge drivers. O open database connectivity ODBC okay is a standard software API designed to it be independent of specific programming languages Sun provides JDBC ODBC implementation so that's for type 1 driver type 2 driver use platform specific APIs for data access here there is pet platform independence this is pla platform dependence um, JDBC type 3 driver is 100% Java. Use a net protocol to access remote listener and map calls into vendor specific calls. That is remote listener connections that uh, you know uh, when a system runs on a diff uh, server runs on a different system and you need to access that system from another system where the application is running. You use SQL net, all those kind of things. That's JDBC type 3 drivers. <coughs> JDBC type 4 driver is 100% Java. So, um, it most efficient of all driver types is type 4 driver. So, Connect Hall J is uh, a JDBC type 4 driver for connecting Java to MySQL. So, type 4 is more universal. That's 100% Java. Okay. So, um, Installation is very simple. Download the production release from here and uh, unzip it. Put the jar file where J Java can find it. Add the jar file to class path. You know, I have to add it to the class path. If you use Eclipse, go to the project properties, Java build path. Click on library. Add external jars. Okay, and add this jar file to it. Okay, so, uh, this is how you use. Configure class path in Eclipse. Connecting the server, first make sure MySQL server is running. You know, MySQL is a small database. Okay, so um, if, while the server is running, you want to connect it from your application end. So, for that, you have to use these three things part of the header in your application. So, import java.sql.connection driver manager and SQL exception. Don't use com.mysql.jdbc.connection. Okay, that is a different thing. Register the JDBC driver like this. Okay, it's a new instance. If you call this new instance, invoke the get connection method. You know how to invoke? Here it is driver manager.get connection. This is the way you invoke a get connection. A connection is established and assigned to this variable con, which is nothing but a type cost connection. This is a standard call JDBC colon MySQL, MyDB. Username, password to the database. <coughs> That's it. You get a connection established to the, yeah, con. Okay, now using con, you can access or parse SQL statements. This other way, get connection JDBC colon MySQL, MyDB. Send parameters with the question mark, user equal to dev, ampersand, password equal to FX. This is for yes, um, yeah, setting it through parameters. Complete program. Is there is an example of a complete program? Pause the video and take a look. Standard things. Public class JDBC example one. This is a class file. Okay, main connection. Class. This is how you try the thing. Create a new instance with the driver. Then do the driver manager get connection and get it to call. Could give con or anything for that matter. Okay. If connection is not closed, say it is totally connected, catch exception, finally, okay, close it. So you can do all the select statement after this con I mean, connection has been established. You can do select, update all those to the database. After that, finally, close the connection. Okay. You can catch exception here. Okay. Make 
do sure make sure to close all the brackets correctly in order sync the connection object public statement create statement throws exception okay this is the way you do a create statement along with exception catching okay you have to catch the exception create statement uh, sql statement database this is how you create a object in the database you know how to what are the sql statements use the say, statement using the statement objects okay statement object may be reused for many statements prepare statement prepare statement this is for uh, preparing the query and uh, catching the exception uh, okay prepare statement is for sending parameterized sql statements to the database it's a query you want to select some name username password maybe um, the department department name etc okay that need to be prepared okay a sql statement with or with without any parameter can be pre compiled and stored in a prepared statement object okay so very easily you can parse the statement sql query and put it in a parameter okay then you can use it any number of time by fill using a filter later or fetching it and fill displaying appropriately this object can then be used efficiently execute the simple statements multiple times following methods issuing queries or these are the following methods on the statement object execute update is another one for use issuing queries that modify the database you know updating the database and return no result set it doesn't return anything this for you can use it for drop table create table insert everything okay you can um, data manipulation language is different from data definition language these are all data definition language insert is a data manipulation language okay result set execute query for queries that do a return result set okay this executes the query and return back the executed statement or result set returns the result set as result set object result set is a data type kind of creating a table this is how you do to create a table <coughs> okay you can go to this website and find it okay here is that the create table statement open a statement kind of create statement Ex execute update first drop the table if exists then execute update create up, create table okay use the entire this is the standard create table syntax put it here the same way the example is given pass the video and make a note of it and uh, populating the table this is how you insert data to the table that's called populating the table execute update insert into animal name category first the two columns then you have to use the word values plus will concatenate these two statements okay and you are just joining these two literal strings with a yeah yeah, with a symbol called plus so put all the value what you want to give for name and category then close the statement then that's it print time count plus rows were inserted that's all just executed it executes okay then gives you a count it returns a count how many were execu uh, inserted execute query return returns result set result set has a so very large number of get to x methods such as string integer all those things all the uh, query re results will be part of the result set it's a array probably you can iterate this uh, iterate by with using for and if condition while condition and uh, display it or use it accordingly okay statement connection it's a create statement execute query is an example here please make a note of this from the table called animal we are selecting all these columns get result set okay yes you remember yes is the create statement and we are executing the query with it and we are accessing the get result set using s dot get result set okay and putting it part of the variable rs which is nothing but a result set data type kind of count is if we are just having an integer for looping inside okay rs dot close and printing it out so looping here you have to write the code what all the uh, columns how to you know display all those things comes here okay prepare statement or pre-compile is much more efficient to use okay use prepare statement so they prepare and store it so that you do it doesn't have to do it every time okay 
So use prepare and then do execute. Take a note of this. Here is another error handling. When you are doing the things, if you get into no object found or nothing working, okay, you can catch exception like this. Okay, you can print the exceptions and see what was the error message. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.